Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Gummy Yoshi channel. This is the eighth episode in our Terraria Let's Play. Now, me being the smart person I am, I just recorded an hour-long uh, piece of footage without having my desktop audio turned on. So you're just going to get some of the highlights from this. I did a bunch of stuff in it, uh, but we're just going to go through it quickly because, you know, I, uh, I didn't turn on the audio. <laughs> Alright, we started off this episode by breaking the first heart, then the second heart, and then we got right into the third one, we buffed up, we hit that B button, we got those potions running, then we summoned this giant brain dude and he came at us like really fast and he was weird. Then we used all the stuff that we weren't supposed to have at this point in the game, we had our little imp devil boy who was burning up all of his eyes, it was destroying his health bar, and we had our stupid explosive bow, and then he turned into Silas, and he stole Mirage's ult from Apex Legends, and then he did his weird, like, ultimate thing where he just turned into four guys, and we had to shoot one of them, it was weird, and we almost died here, but we eventually got him, it was just a guessing game, and it was like a, it was like a 25% chance, but, you know, you know, uh, we're smart here, so we just guessed, and we got it, see, now we got a relic, now we got a treasure bag, we got nothing good from the treasure bag, and now we're moving on. Then we use some of this dude's weird like zombie bar stuff to make a literal fishing rod out of zombie flesh, which is somehow better than an iron one. Don't ask me how that works, I have no flipping clue. Then we made a bunch of gold off of it, 33 to be exact, now we're rich, we're Tony Stark, let's go. Then we went down to the jungle, we got a shotgun from a chest that was years old, don't ask me who put it there, who made it, and why they didn't keep it for themselves. I don't really understand this game anymore. But who needs to understand anything when you're rich, am I right? So we fought the Eye of Cthulhu, yet again, to make some more of that cash, because we're not at one platinum yet, so we're not balling out with our monies yet, so then we killed him right here, he's dead now, and he's carrying some streamers glasses on him don't ask me why he carries those or why he has them i don't know it's probably an easter egg or something but who cares about the sunglasses now we gotta sell all the items that we got we gotta make this money but before we sell the items we got another meteorite on the island i'm joking that's the first one we needed that like six episodes ago and now we're way past the stage where it's actually useful but i'm not salty about it because we got loads of money and we're getting loads more because we're doing aya cthulhu again you already know we're gonna do this oh we had to do was poke him a few times with our little hot pokey stick and then we got his nice little pet thing that I don't even know what it is but it's a master mode item so it's cool and now we equipped it and it's this little eye dude that just follows us around you'd think he helps us when we fight but he doesn't he just stands there and watches us he honestly creeps me out a little bit so we're gonna take him off and never use him again because I'm scared of him now we're starting to see some real profits after that we got 49 gold which gave us our first platinum coin we are officially a millionaire but that ain't enough for good old gummy yoshi so we summoned in a giant bee lady and she came in flying from the sides and decided to hide in the walls where i couldn't hit her most of the time uh, we've got to use our buff, so as you can see, it really didn't go well at all. We basically immediately died, but we're coming back for her later. But for now, we're moving on. Alright, next we fought a bunch of zombies. I'm cutting the voice thing because my throat is hurting now from it. But then we killed a bunch of zombies. They gave me a nice little piggy trough thing. Uh, it was Blood Moon, so they gave me this portable piggy bank. It was pretty cool, man. Haha, <laughs> sick, you thought we weren't doing the voice thing. Next we found this weird dude who was trying to sleep in the middle of the lawn here. So I picked him up and I was like, hey, move into the house, man. And he was like, sure, I'll give you some of my weird metal thing. I also know about this other dimension. I'm also Spider-Man. And then he was like, hey, yo, if you move me into the caverns, I'll give you a nice little cavern pylon. So you know what I did? I moved him into the caverns with his friend the Goblin Tinkerer. And you know what they did? They sold me the cavern pylon. So now we've got three pylons and a whole network system. Alright, so then the next time I started recording, I decided to not record my voice, because, you know, I forget to record everything now, apparently. But, uh, then I, uh, went lava fishing, which is a thing you can do in this game, and I found a bunch of guys who I'm gonna use in potions, it's pretty cool. Um, but now we're moving on to try and fight Skeletron. But before we could do that, we had a yet another inconvenience. We had slime start falling from the sky, and my recording software froze. 
I don't know why I'm so bad at this. Thankfully, by the time King Slime spawned in, the software started working yet again, and we easily destroyed him because he's bad at the game. But now it's time to actually do Skeletron. Or so you'd think if you were editing this video and you thought that you actually did stuff in a normal progression rate, but instead I decided to spend 30 minutes opening these weird lava boxes that I got, and I basically just got this weird, like, lava fishing hook that I stared at for like 10 minutes and also this these two like crate things that I can't open yet because again Skeletron hasn't been beaten then I almost flooded my house because smart me couldn't realize what a water grenade did it just it just blows up with water like what is the literal point of this item being in the game it just it's an explosion that just fills your room with water who would want that and finally after what seemed like two hours of stalling I actually decided to go up to the old man and say, Here, I'm gonna curse you, and I summoned Skeletron. Now, this fight looked like it was going really, really well. And then, I decided to not dodge his attacks that were gonna kill me, and, and then I proceeded to die because I reached zero hit points after I literally jumped into the skulls he was throwing at me. W what am I literally doing in this clip? Can we please just watch this? Alright, I'm shooting him. Yes, look at how low he's getting. He's literally like an eighth of his health, a ninth, a tenth, and then I'm running around and I just let him ram me, and then I just let the skull, bam, dead. What am I doing? But fear not, because I don't give up that easily. The next night, I came back, I killed this raincoat zombie, and then I said, it. And we cursed the old man once more. And this time, this time, maybe, we can come out on top. <laughs> you guys like that joke? You like that joke? You thought I could win this fight? Yeah, no, no, I, I died because let hold up. Let's get a replay of that right now. Slow-mo replay. So this fight is actually starting off quite well. I'm masterfully cutting Skeletron if I do say so myself, but right here I try and dash to the left. Now that's my first issue here because there was a zombie standing right there and he blocked me. And basically what happens here is Skeletron has time to catch up and then just sits on me while he destroys me by spinning in circles, eating out all of my vital organs. Now, if you can see here again, the zombie actually blocks my second attempt to flee and then default dances on me on the ground. What an impressive play by that zombie. Now, most of you are probably thinking, wow, Gummy Yoshi, you sound a little bit mad at that zombie, and to you, I would say, yes, yes, I do. But back to the topic, this is our third attempt on Skeletron, so you know what they say. Third tries the charm, and right here, that- oh, oh jeez. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, Gummy Yoshi, there is no physical way that you could screw this up for a fourth time, so that's why I just made a star cannon which launches literal fallen stars from the sky at him. I am expanding my arena so that a two-year-old on crutches would be able to play in it without falling, and also I'm making a pit at the bottom so that I cannot fall through it all and die to fall damage. Now. The big moment has come where if I lose this fight, my fourth attempt as a veteran Terraria player that has played this game for over three years, they have over 400 hours on the game. If I lose on this attempt, I am going to be embarrassed for the rest of my life about this gosh darn fight. So I have to win it right here. You guys already know that that's what I did. I kited like a pro, I fought like a pro, and I didn't ever even go to my second bar of health. Just look at this high tier gameplay. I am kiting Skeletron like I've never kited anything before. I ran around him in circles that he didn't know which way was up and which way was towards the dungeon after this. He got so confused that he thought I was a hard mode boss and that I was the one that I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but I won the fight. Let's go. 
Here are Skeletron's last moments as he tried miserably to save his life with his little homing skulls, but he could not. He could not finish the job, and I got his relic, I got his treasure bag, and I got his key to the dungeon. So that is the end of this episode. If you guys did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like on the channel and subscribe. Wait, leave a like on the chan- I don't even know what I'm saying, but please just, you know, like and subscribe. You guys know the deal. Uh, this was kind of a different type of episode. I kind of just narrated over it the whole time. Definitely not because my uh, OBS cut out for most of it. But um, if you guys did enjoy this type, then just leave it in the comments below. I had a bunch of fun making this, so I think hopefully it's really entertaining. I hope you guys all have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.